Lonnie, it was a one-point game in that fourth quarter. What was the biggest difference, and how did you see the Celtics kind of be able to go on that run and close out the game? Um, I mean, considering it was a back-to-back, our legs kind of got the best best of us. We had a couple wide-open threes that we, you know, airballed and missed, a couple shots that just wasn't falling, that normally fall for, you know, most of our players. So, um, you know, uh, we just didn't make the shots when we needed to make them today. But uh, to come off a of back-to-back and play a championship-caliber team and play it to that, to that degree um, shows, you know, what yet we have to become, you know. And... Uh, you try to start, try to find a positive within it all, so we're very optimistic going forward. Now, when you talk about the positive, there were some that you guys were able to kind of go on runs and then respond, and also having six just just six turnovers in the entire game. What did you see? How you guys were able to fight through certain things, like always constantly be able to kind of fight back? I'm just playing with our strengths. You know, we had a lot of we had we had a lot of great ball handlers, a lot of great defenders, um, and great shooters on top of that. So. Um, we've been knowing what's been working with us as far as, you know, throughout the season, um, who to look out for. You know, Dorian's been shooting the heck at the ball. Roy's been shooting the ball really well. Um, so we're just playing to our strengths. Um, we got a lot of players who got a chip on their shoulder, and, you know, I feel like they got something to prove, and I think that adds that edge to, to you know, just that underdog type of Brooklyn mentality. I have to ask you because going into the game, you were listed as questionable with the new soreness, but it looked like, especially in that first quarter, you were fighting through, it didn't look like you were having dealing with it. You had nine points. What did you do in that first that was working so well for you? And then how is the knee? Um, just knowing that, you know, a lot of people really can't guard me. You know, if I see people in front of me, just making the game easy, you know, getting to the paint with my speed and athleticism, understanding that my teammates are around me, making my teammates better. And, um, you know, my father always said, just never, never show a man your weakness. So when I'm on the court, you know, I don't want to make no excuses. You know, if I had a bad game, it's not credit to the to soreness or my knee. Um, if I had a great game, it's still not credit to my soreness on the knee. So um, I just go out there and try to play the best of my capability, knowing that my teammates trust me and, um, you know, go from there. How would you just assess where the chemistry is growing? You talked about how this team is learning some things and like figuring out ways to close out with the last couple of games that you guys have had to fight through. What is that next step? And then where is that growth process like? Um, this next step is probably just, you know, consistency. consistency. You know, I think um, some games we come out strong, other games we might, you know, struggle a little bit. So just finding that consistent edge, you know, from the first, 40, first minute to the last minute, you know, um, you know uh, being this team, though, it's, our chemistry just been there. I mean, since day one, since training camp, we've really been working each other to improve each other even better. You know, I think that's the best thing is um, our practices, everyone's trying to make each other better. It, it was a lot of grit and a lot of grind, and it's starting to transition onto each and every game, you know. Um, you know, we're not losing by 20, 30 points. You know, it's usually a grit and grind game, and however happens in the last minute or two, we'll, we'll make that decision. So um, we're going to continue to stack the days, but, you know, very happy with how things are going.